So this is what I do every week. I just kind of map out some dinners for the week. And I start to make a list and then I transfer it over into my phone for when we actually shop. We went to Wegmans today and we have friends coming over. They have three kids. So we're gonna do a cookout on Friday night. So I got burgers and hot dogs and I actually have brioche buns in the freezer from Trader Joe's for hot dogs and hamburgers. And then we're gonna do these shoestring fries with it. These are fixins, um, and then I have other fixins already for the burgers and hot dogs. And then these looked amazing. Like you can see the dill and garlic. I'm like on the hunt for good gourmet pickles. This doesn't go with the, <laughs> them coming over. I just need a veg stock. Crackers, delicious cheese. Fontina is my favorite. These are my favorite. Dill, Pepidou, and Fontina. Feta, feta stuffed olives. And then some prosciutto and salami. Pre-cut, since I'm a vegetarian, I prefer that. Some buns for the burgers, just extra. Some grapes for the cheese board. Um, plates, napkins, and then they have three kids, so I got some honest. We never usually have these at home. And then tomorrow night we're doing spaghetti night, so I, this looked really good, a blush sauce, and then meatballs for my husband with spaghetti. We needed that. Tonight we're doing a cookout, so I'm gonna do onions and peppers, and I love grilled pineapple with it over rice for myself. Love this lotion. It's hands, face, and body. I really, the coconut and lemon, it's my favorite. Hand lotion, need a shampoo, conditioner. This is for Landon's mudroom vases. And then I got some bubbles for the girls. They have a little girl Landon's age. Landon's really been into these French toast sticks for breakfast. Uh, these are new. Phil likes to take coffee in the morning. Um, I've never seen the red Solo cup. What? I remember that and it's been a couple of months since you've seen her. Kitty treats, milk, half and half sour cream eggs. I love this 40 calories per slice. Those are really nice for like a PB and J. Um, we <laughs> clearly like cheddar a lot. This is, we are making a sangria for a Friday night. So I have some frozen fruit, so I have a lemon. I'm gonna make a white sangria, so I need to get white wine and then top it off with Prosecco. So I got lemon, apples, oranges, strawberries, and raspberries. I also have some frozen stuff that I plan on putting in there. And then bananas, and then this is my favorite for um, like my face lotion and stuff like that. This is my favorite. This is the Gel Couture by Essie. It just looks like a cool color. We needed Ziplocs. This is my favorite soap. Um, I like these really thin steaks for Landon because they're smaller for her to have. And then a big old meaty steak for my husband. He takes these into work. I absolutely abhor, is that the word? Re revol revolt, revulsed, I'm repulsed by tuna. It's been banned from my house. He's not allowed to eat it in the house, so he takes it into work for lunches. And he really loves these Grillmates marinades for chicken. And that's our Wegmans. Woo! Isn't that insane, Landon? Mm. We've got a lot of Wegmans food. Since there are four of us, I decided to add another bottle. So I added a buttery Chardonnay. Um, that should be enough for tonight. And then we're gonna top it off with Prosecco. I can't wait to try it in a couple hours. Seriously, just did my nails and I've messed up three nails. Like I, I don't, I, like you have to sit there and do nothing. I just tried to turn my camera on and I messed up my nail. Hi guys. Um, our friends will be here in just over an hour. So I wanted to show you, I made the sangria. I'm probably gonna give that a taste, but I, Taggy, stop scratching. 
he scratches when he wants treats. So I absolutely love my fridge. It's one of my favorite things about my kitchen. But there's this feature. I don't think I've used it yet. The, kitchen, the fridge is not very organized, but there's that delicious sangria. It's called a charcuterie tray, and we keep kind of our cheeses and tortillas on it. So I'm gonna get this bad boy out, clean it up, and try to do a, try to do, definitely do a charcuterie situation. So that way it can stay in the fridge and it's pre-made and I can just pull it out when they arrive. I'm so excited. Here is our simple cheese board. So I'm gonna put crackers on it. I'm a vegetarian, so I always keep the meat off to its side by itself. The um, whole grain Dijon mustard is so good with cheese. Feta olives, grapes, Fontina. Oh, what are these called? The spicy peppers. I'm drawing a blank dill. And then these mixed nuts are delicious. So I'm gonna leave those out since they can be let out. And then let out, what am I even talking about? They can be kept out. Got some buttery crackers, some wheat crackers. And then as you can tell, I've already dug into these are amazing from Target. And then the next thing is I need to get the fixins ready for the burgers, so lettuce, tomato, and onion. I got stuff ready for the burgers. Put those back in the fridge. And then Landon's having a little charcuterie board of cheddar, crackers, and grapes. That looks delicious, Landon. Yeah. And I'll give you your first honest lemonade. Doesn't that look good? I like that. Grapes. Cheese and crackers. So I actually tried one of these. There's not a lot of sugar. It's almost like it's watered down, which is nice. You should probably get lemonade like three. We have it at Disney usually, and then I don't know, like three times a year, four times a year. I've been a little more lax on sugar lately. What's that? You gotta hold it here, okay? So it doesn't squeeze. It's lemonade. Hold it there, strong. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, well, Daddy. I've definitely been waiting for. Daddy, it. Mm -hmm. Hello, five o'clock Friday. It's strong. I think it needs a little more for Mmm. Daddy, take a sip. It's strong. I may have put too much Grand Marnier in it. I guess it's just Grand Marnier. Tasty. Very tasty. Should I put some juice in it if I have it? Let's do the recipe. That's not really a recipe. Any? Mmm. Really good. All right, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed our Wegmans run and then a couple of recipes, sangria recipe. Phil has declared the summer. Last year we did the summer of fun. He's declaring it the summer of sangria. So we may do a bunch of different sangria recipes and meals this summer. I love sangria, so I'm kind of into it. Like, can you imagine, like, French-inspired sangria? Italian, Spanish, grape-inspired, strawberry-inspired, rosé sangria. I think it'll be fun. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Can you say bye? Bye. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Peace. Peace. Oh, good peas, Landon.